Hello everyone. Today we've got the Pack 6 puzzle by Eric Fuller. Before I get started, I'm just gonna dump out all of these pieces. I might regret doing that. But uh there we go. Um it came sent to me all packed in, but it is a packing puzzle where I have to try to fit these pieces in. And I thought if I looked at it too much, I might cheat myself or spoil it for myself or something. Um, all the pictures on the website when you buy it have it show pictures of it packed, so uh, must not be too big of a spoiler, but I wanted to make sure I had a challenge. Um, so yeah, so like I said, this is built by Eric Fuller, built and designed. So this is my first um, Eric Fuller designed puzzle. So these pieces are made out of maple. Cut very cleanly, very smooth. They feel good. Um, and the box is made out of walnut. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna, now, now I'm gonna get started. Let me pull this up so I can see and make sure you guys can see. All right, oh, my timer. I'm such an amateur. Start the timer. Boom. Um, I think I mentioned, but in case I didn't, this is called pack six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pieces, not six pack, pack six. I'm just going to start by putting pieces in, and then we'll uh, see what works and what doesn't. So this is an interesting piece. Let's just do that, and this long piece, nope, not, it's not that long. Okay, so probably not off to a good start. This piece is interesting too. All right. I typically like to do these outside of the box to see what I can learn, but not too constrained here. What I don't know is if there's enough pieces, like there might be gaps. It seems like there aren't enough pieces to make a solid cube. But maybe there are. I enjoy packing puzzles, but I don't really have a good system for doing them yet. Just kind of sticking pieces in randomly and seeing how that goes. Perfect. Let's flip it over and see. Oh, maybe there are enough spaces. So there's one, two, three, four, five empty openings. And this is one, two, Three, four, five. All right, so it does make a uh, a completely filled in box. So that's good. I don't know if that makes it easier or harder. Probably easier. So. I mean, this can't go on the end of this, so it has to go next to it. It could go either way. And it could go like this. That's four by four, yeah? Four by four. But these two have to go next to each other in some way. Hmm. 
Okay. So I know something has to go in here. Still has to remain only too high. I expected this to be easier, but I'm not very good at these types of puzzles yet. So that doesn't go there. And all the other ones are kind of fair game. You could just go like this, go like that. You could go like this. And there's lots of options. I liked, I don't know why, I like this one. Is I, I can't keep track of like what I'm doing. Maybe I could keep track, but I'm bad at it. Oh, uh, like this could fit here. Then that's blocked off. Nothing else. Well, yeah, nothing. I could do that. Same problem. Blocked off. Could do that. And there's no place for this. regret not paying attention to when I uh, opened this thing.
I am running out of ideas. I don't like that because now I've got this whole flat side. Is that what I just did? Yeah. I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Now I've still got the problem with having a big flat side. seems like something. Is that? <sighs> Holy moly. I'm not going to try to reassemble it and I'm just going to pick it up and put it on fit. Woof. So I started. Oh boy. Scared to take it apart. Start it over here. Huh. So I, this piece was probably the... Well, I mean, there were several annoying pieces for different reasons, but this was the most complicated piece. So I wanted to start with that. I didn't really expect this L to end up on top like that. I expected it to be one of this way, like this. What did I do? But I had to try it because I tried so many other pieces in here. Not many fit. And we had this big opening here, so I decided to put that there. I was actually nervous because we had this huge flat surface right here. That doesn't look like this. That was like this. That just goes just right in like that. Ooh, good puzzle. That was... Man. I don't think I would want to do one with more than six pieces. Six might be my limit. The problem with the... Uh, with six pieces is that I... I personally really struggle with like combinations I've already tried. Um, I have a real hard time trying to remember and strategize through these so I'm mostly just putting pieces in at random. Um, you get to the point where you can quickly identify things that won't work you know, as you go through it a few times. Like there are lots of times where I don't know why I'm taking this apart. Um, where I'd end up with like this two by two right here that would be open and obviously that's not going to work so you kind of have to have to scrap that plan um but yeah that was that was challenging uh, i kind of expected it to be easier um 
So good job, Eric. Again, this is from Cubic Dissection. Uh, it's available now. Go buy one. Look, I remembered how I did it. Boom. Really cool. Uh, all right, put that there. Straighten it up. All right, we'll see what puzzle we do next time. And as always, thanks for watching.